Today, I'm going to show you how to create a shapefile in QGIS. We will see how to populate with data, both geometric data and uh, alphanumeric data. So, start QGIS and uh, let's do it. QGIS is now running. Uh, open a new project or click a new project or Ctrl N. You will see something like in the picture here the EPSG that um, is set is uh, 4326 and is the worldwide. Um, WGS84, so it's okay for uh, global data. Currently, this is not uh, really important. I will um, tell you more about this in the future. And the first thing to do is to create a new layer. We will create a shape file because it's the common, mm, the most common format. Not the best one, but for that exchange, it's okay. Um, it has a few limitations. I'll talk about this uh, in another, epi another episode. So you can do it basically through the layer menu or the the third icon in the, in the toolbar called the new shapefile layer. Let's do it th through the menu and just browse to the create layer then a new shapefile layer okay a new dialog will pop up it will ask you for a file name let's click browse and choose your directory um, currently i want to work in the test directory so maybe uh, i call it trees and click save as you can see uh, the path gets populated on the file name uh, field encoding uh, is okay uh, utf8 is unicode encoding is perfect for uh, accented letters and so on the most important thi thing in a shape file is its geometry type as there is no way to store multiple geometry type in a shapefile so uh, now uh, that we are thinking about trees for instance i'll pick point as um, geometrically speaking a tree is uh, an entity that lives only in a single point is the punctual uh, entity you can also set uh, uh, multi-point, the line string, and polygon. Let's start with uh, point. Uh, actually, QGIS works in 2D and 3D, but uh, when you create a new shape file, it uh, works in two dimension only, unless you set the Z, um, the Z additional dimension, so the, th so the third dimension. Or the m values uh, when you um, select v you also get the m values m values uh, is uh, a value where every coordinate in the um, geometry has an additional value the crs is okay so wgs 84 4 3 2 6 and you can create a new shape file using uh, no additional data but it's quite uh, worthless, so uh, at, le at least I will put an ID, but also you can add, um, for instance, a text, an integer, or decimal, or a date. Mm. So let's add the name, rename, with the length of 80, 80 characters, Click add field this list and we could set the decimal and decimal height. Let's call it only H uh, length 
and precision set how many mm, numbers can be stored it's a float um, float number so a floating point number so we have six um, values after the comma and the whole length of 20 it's okay it's um, uh, it's a really big here so let's do it okay perfect for the moment it's okay so create let's click ok and and uh, it will get added to the layers list actually this is um we are not going to map anything real so it's just an example once you have added a new a new layer a new shape file you need to put it in editing mode using the toggle editing button here in the toolbar or the right click and use toggle editing once you have done this it will uh, um, enable QGS will enable a few controls the move feature for instance the rotate feature scale feature simplify add part delete delete part and so on also you get the obviously the add point feature and the vertex tool is enabled let's click add point feature click on a point on the map we are not currently referencing anything so just click it uh, an attribute dialog will appear it will ask you for an ID, a name, and an an H and a height. So let's put it um, three uh, low three as a name. Uh, what I have written and the height. It's not three dot five meters. Okay, the point will be here. Let's do another high tree. The height now is 15. Okay, perfect. Once you have done this, you can uh, show the attribute table and you will get all the info for each feature in that you have uh, inserted. If you query the using the uh, identify feature tool the the point we have added it actually says the data you have put in once you have done unclick the the toggle editing and click save this is for points we can do it also for lines let's call it broad and this time as geometry type i will add line string text still uh let's use the name again okay let's put it in editing and add this time add the line feature this is not a point anymore so oh, what happened here Oh, I'm digitizing. Not, not good. Digitize with the segments. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I had selected this before. It's digitized as um, as a shape. We don't need uh, currently, so uh, it just uh, need to be set. We digitize with the segment. So let's add another. Okay. This is cool. we can call it road B. Let's call it just B. And once you have done this, you can also select the item and you can work with the vertex tool. If you click here, you can click a vertex and move it. You can add a new one in between and it's really really useful if you select 
one you can also delete or oh, not the whole feature obviously if you click this we will delete the whole feature but you know not what we are gonna do so i restored it and also you get access to the vertex editor right clicking on the feature okay if oh not what okay i brought right clicked here so if you work on the vertex editor you will see that i sell i am selecting currently vertex if i click and click delete the delete button on the keyboard it gets actually deleted okay mm, as it's like we have done before we toggle editing we save this also we can add um a new polygon element so okay let's call it house name address home for instance this is, and the geometry type will be polygon okay let's put it in editing let's add a new polygon feature we can have the shape digitizing toolbar enabled and we could add it using the rectangle element mm, dog road perfect this toolbar here is really useful to create a circular string by the radius a circle from two points ellipse a rectangle and regular polygon it's a uh, nice if you don't have um, if you like um, if you like a rectangle for instance but also you can use the vertex tool once you have done it to change the shape and adapt to your needs okay actually these three files get saved in the, in the directory so if we remove this three one we kill um, load it back using the add vector layer let's choose the the right uh, source we can add more than one so let's add all the three ones uh, shape files get saved in a multitude of files the main file you need to open is the shp file so let's select house shape road shape and tree shape and click open let's add and close and you will get everything like you um, saved so uh, it's actually persisted on the file system this is just an introduction to the shape file uh, I'll show you how to edit um, features and to create models in relation in the future. So in a future episode, uh, another set of video I want to do is about geoprocessing tools. To I will show you how to use buffer, clipping, convexal, different, dissolve and so on but uh, for now it's everything remember to subscribe in order to do not miss anything out of the channel thank you for listening and comment if you like if you if you want to add something or ask something see you to the next episode and bye bye and thank you